Hey guys, this is Tactics coming to you once again with another weapon review. Today we are going to be going over the Spaz-12. This would be the only shotgun that you get to unlock in the DLC. And on top of that, it is a pump-action shotgun, which makes it the competitor to the 870. You can also put the M26 in that category as well, but I'm really just going to you know, go over the stats between the 870 and the Spaz-12. start with, for the magazine capacity, it's got a 5-bullet magazine to begin with. Extended mags will go ahead and put two extra shells in there to make it seven total. You do unlock that within 30 kills, so just keep that in mind. Um, now for the spec breakdowns. Now, they did not have any stats on Symphic. Uh, I usually go to that to go ahead and compare my guns and look at the statistics for them. They don't have anything for shotguns at all. So I'd like to give a quick shout out to Obnoxious Brony and Severcoast for helping me by providing a chart that I can go over the stats for you. So the deciding factor between these two guns um, would be the rate of fire and the damage output. So besides that, they are identical in every single category in terms of reload time, bullet spread, aim down sight, everything. So the two differences would be the damage. The 870 has 12 pellets set per damage for its max damage, whereas the Spaz-12 has 11. So it's a one pellet advantage for the 870. The other factor you need to look at would be the rate of fire. Spaz-12 has uh, can shoot at 0.4 seconds per shell, whereas the 870 goes at 0.48, so it's a variance of 0.08 seconds. It's not much, but it can make a difference. Uh, in terms of the rest of the gameplay, I start off stock for you guys, like I usually do in the beginning of a vid. Um, just to let you know, playing with shotguns is completely out of my element. I really don't do it. I have no comfort for it. As you can see, I hit fire basically the entire game. Um, I'm not much for aiming down the sight with shotguns. So, I, and just to let you know, aiming down sight will reduce your bullet spread for the shotgun. So keep that in mind. I wouldn't really recommend just going hip firing the entire game with a shotgun because it does reduce the damage output. So, starting off, I go with the buckshot, stock all the way, and then as soon as I'm halfway through the game or so, I do go to pushette. Now, just keep in mind, buckshot is very good with the stopping power, and it's very good for up close. Uh, once you're going over range, though, the pellet is spread out, and that's where flechette, or flechette, however you want to pronounce it, comes in as a good advantage. Um, with the flechette, flechette, the damage will go ahead and increase over range compared to the buckshot. Buckshot will be more powerful up close, flechette will be more powerful in range. I, I'm more of a ranged mid player myself, so flechette is uh, more advantageous for me, I should say. Now, the other item that I don't really go over in this game, which is a very important one, I think, would be slugs. Um, he unlocks slugs at 80 kills, I think, or, at, on this weapon. And just to give you a heads up, slugs within 15 meters is a one-hit kill to the chest or the head. So for those who are very accurate and can keep your target locked on with your weapon, it's a very viable option. With the slugs, you get a 1.25 damage multiplier with both the 870 and the Spaz-12. Like I said, they're pretty much identical weapons, so that's not going to change. One hit kill within 15. Once you go past, it's two hits. Uh, the end of the drop-off is at 50 to 60 meters, um, one of the two. So just keep that in mind. But these weapons, the pump-action shotguns, they have faster reload times. They have better damage output. They have better spread than all the other shotguns. So that's why they're a very good option to go ahead and use on the close quarter maps. Um, other things that you really need to look at, though, um, would just be the, your play style, really. But my opinion on the gun, it's very good overall. You unlock your attachments very fast. Uh, you get extended mags, you get your flechette, and you get a, a sight all within 30 kills. And like I said, you do unlock slugs at 80. So overall, um, I think that basically covers it. Uh, between the 870 and the Spaz-12, I can't really you know, give you my opinion on which gun is better. I don't usually use shotguns that much. They're so close in statistics that it's really just aesthetic um, for you, whichever gun you feel that you like better. But I think that's going to be it for my uh, overall review. Go ahead and enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Give me your thoughts on the video. And just to let you know, I have one more weapon review that will be coming out. That would be the LSAT. And I will be probably bringing that out for you tomorrow. After that, it's going to be covering the maps and the game modes for close quarters. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that and have a good rest of the day.
Here's your first aid. Here's the first aid kit. Yeah, here's your med kit. 